From the Oklahoma newsroom, this is the Thunder Update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Thunder Beat writer Brett Dawson. Brett, uh, mysterious case of a disappearing <laughs> shot. That yeah. being that, uh, the shot of Paul George, a guy that um, has been known for really being a, a great shooter, especially since the All-Star break. It's been a struggle for him. What's going on with him right now? Yeah, it really has. You know, he's having his best full season as a three-point shooter in the NBA. The only season he's ever shot higher than he's shooting right now was the game, the season he only played six games because of that broken leg. Um, it's been very weird. He's really struggled. He's gone 0 for 13 from three in the last two games combined. Um, you know, the, the game against Portland, he was 0 for 7, just couldn't get anything to go. It's an odd thing, but it's not a super unusual thing. He's actually been a much better three-point shooter in the, in the pre-All-Star portions of his career than in the post. He typically drops off. March has been his career worst three-point mm. shooting month typically rebounds in April, and especially in recent years, he's been much better in the playoffs. He told us the other night, I do this, I go through this, I always come out on the other side of it. The Thunder has to hope so, Brett, yeah. because if they're going to, well, if they're going to get a seed that they can potentially survive the first round, and then if they're going to survive the first round or any, any uh, rounds beyond that, He's absolutely necessary, especially in light of the fact that Carmelo Anthony is really having a struggle as well. Yeah, you know, Carmelo's been so bad that I think it's sort of detracted, distracted from the way Paul George has played. I think Paul has not gotten kind of some of the criticism he might have gotten if not for the way Carmelo has played. And Carmelo really has also not shot the ball particularly well, but, but been bad in some other areas as well. And, of course, the big free throws against Boston. What we've seen out of this team, you know, I do think they have the capacity to kind of turn things on in the playoffs. But to your point, they need to land in that 4-5 spot. If they fall to the 6, now suddenly you're playing Portland, a team that swept you in the regular season, that has never lost to you since it traded for Yusuf Nurkic. Um, you'd have to play them with home court. I feel like if they get into one of those 4-5 series, there's nobody in that that they can't beat. If you got to go to New Orleans, you got to go to San Antonio, okay, we've seen you play well against San Antonio in the playoffs in the past. New Orleans has handled them this year, but I think we feel like because of the playoff experience, because of the, 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 just the Russell Westbrook factor, they're probably better off. Uh, they're probably going to beat New Orleans, even if they don't have the home court. But if you fall down and you're going to have to play Houston, Portland, even a shorthanded Golden State, yeah. that's just not what you want. Yeah, danger zone. Lastly, as it relates to Paul George, uh, you did an exploration of, of this issue. Um, does the team feel like they could get him shots in different spots? Does he feel like he needs to look for different areas? I mean, is there a turn the corner answer right now for him do they feel like it really doesn't seem like it because if you just break down his shots maybe you try to find him a couple of more a couple more three pointers in the right corner it's the one place where since the all-star break he's still shooting pretty well 38 percent, but he's not taking very many of those and he doesn't take very many he doesn't shoot from the corners a lot he's really a an above the break shooter so the top of the key and particularly the wings so he shot much better in those spots pre in uh, pre all-star He's really getting about the same shots. He's taking a, a one less three a game, but he's taking the same shots. They're really not much more closely guarded. I looked at that. The defenses haven't really adjusted to take things away. He's getting one less open three a game, and so that's a factor. So maybe you want to try to find him some of those right corner shots. Maybe you want to try to uh, run a couple of actions that maybe spring him for something that's a little bit cleaner than the looks he's getting. But right now it just feels like he's in a funk. All right. Well, we'll see if he can break out of it Thursday night at San Antonio, a place that Frankly, the Thunder could probably use a little bit better outside shooting. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com every day in the Oklahoman.